Continuing our reading in Ragweed and Poppy, today is Chapter 3, Getting Off the Train. It was early morning. Bright light streamed into the boxcar, waking Ragweed. He yawned, rubbed his eyes, stretched, stood up, scratched his chin with his left rear foot, smoothed his whiskers in his ears, shook out his tail, and finally checked his earring. All was in order. Fully awake, he stepped to the boxcar doorway and looked out. The train had stopped in a deep gully whose walls were covered with bushes and rocks. Above the gully, Ragweed could see the tops of trees. Maybe it's near the raccoon's forest. He looked down. Next to the train was a set of parallel tracks. Hungry, Ragweed peered across the boxcar. The young raccoon still lay asleep atop the paper bag the bag with the food. Double dang, thought Ragweed. I need to get that raccoon moving. Lotar, he shouted across the boxcar. The train has stopped. You need to get off before it starts up again. Or another train comes by. Did you hear me, mask baby? It's getting off time. Find your mother time. Come on, bang the bustle button. Lotar, head on the paper bag, eyes closed, remained motionless. Ragweed went up to one of the raccoon's ears and shouted into it, Hey, you need to ease up your eyes! The raccoon continued to sleep. Ragweed ran around to Lotar's nose and began to beat it with both paws. Stripe tail, wake up! Lotar slowly lifted his head partly opened his eyes, blinked foggily at Ragweed, yawned, gave a satisfied sigh, and promptly, promptly put his head down and shut his eyes. We going to find your mama or not? Ragweed shouted. The raccoon's long white whiskers twitched. He opened his eyes. Hi, he said sleepily. If we're going to find your mother, said Ragweed, we need to get off the train now. Lotar sat up slowly, yawned again, showing his sharp teeth and pink tongue. Then he licked each of his ten claws and used the wetness to poke the sleep from his eyes, one eye at a time. Finally, he said, I'm hungry. Can, can you give me some food? You're sitting on it. Oh, raccoon, said Ragweed as Lotar gobbled up the remaining peanut butter and bread. Listen to me. Forget food. The train has stopped, which means this is your chance, maybe your best chance for the rest of your life to jump off and find your mother. You know, rip and run? Lotar looked at Ragweed quizzically. Uh, I, I, I forgot your name, he said. It's Ragweed. Ragweed ran to the boxcar doorway. The train was still not moving. He gestured out. Bustle, baby. Leap before we lose it. The train let forth a long, shrill whistle. Hear that? Ragweed shouted. It's saying what I'm saying. Move! Lotar lumbered to his feet, swung about to sniff at the paper bag, then waddled over to where Ragweed was waiting by the boxcar doorway. What, what do I do? He said. Do? cried Ragweed. What do you think? Like, jump off this boxcar. Totally off. Out. Fast. Now. Did I say that simple enough? The raccoon shook his head. Uh, I don't know how to jump off a train. I, I've never done it before. It's easy, said Ragweed. From the boxcar edge, he looked out and thought up a plan. He'd jump off first, then get the raccoon to follow. Okay, he said to Lotar. Watch what I do. Then, you know, do the same thing. Any questions? I'm going to leap off now. Easy. Watch me. The train whistle blew again. Remember, cried Ragweed, you must follow me. Lotar stood by Ragweed and peered down to the ground. It's a long way, he said. Dude, said Ragweed, guess what? The only way to get off a train is to get off. Lotar stared at the ground below, shook his head. It's too far. You got on, didn't you? I was going the other way. Okay, raccoon, watch what I do. With that, Ragweed leaped out of the boxcar. With a soft plop, 
He landed on the spread of loose gravel between the parallel iron rails. He looked up. Lotar peered down at him from the boxcar doorway. Are you all right? Of course I am. Come on, hit the loop. It's too far. It's not far, called Rayweed. You have to do a jump. I'm scared, Lotar called, putting his paws before his eyes. You don't have to do anything but drop, Rayweed shouted up. What if I hurt myself? The train whistle shrieked. Raccoon, said Ragweed. If the train starts up and you're still on it, you'll never see your mama again. Alarm filled Lotar's face. If I jump, will you catch me? Mama always does. You're too big for me to catch. But the train gave a lurch. Couples clanged and banged. The train is going, cried wet Ragweed. Jump! Is it, is it going toward Mama? Doesn't matter. Quick! I'm scared. The train picked up speed. Ragweed ran along the, alongside the moving train. Raccoon, this is your last chance. The train went faster. I want my Mama! Ragweed was racing as fast as he could alongside the moving boxcar. Dude! He screamed up at the raccoon. If you ever hope to see your mama again, get off the train! Lotar shut his eyes and leaped. And that's the end of chapter three.